welcome back to Irish Strength Training. In today's video we're talking about how to build one of these bad boys, an Atlas Stone platform. Whether you've got your own home gym or it's a commercial gym, this is an incredible piece of kit to add to that setup. Now you may think it looks like a big project to take on, it's not. It's very, very simple to do and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do it. Start off with what tools are you going to need for this job. Starting off with power tools, you're going to need a circular saw, a jigsaw, an impact drill, and then your normal drill. Onto the basic stuff, which I know you'll already have, but we'll go through it anyway. A measuring tape, a hammer, a square and a level, a marker or pencil, either one, just to mark uh, measurements. Then you're on to screws. You're going to need a lot of screws. So we've got our 60 screws and we've got our 25 millimeter screws. Then we've got our plates. So you'll see what these are for later. So 2.5 kg plate and a 1.25 kg. Then we've got our frame fixings and our nails. Now those last two are optional, but again, towards the end of the video, you'll see what I'm using them for. And finally, we've got our timber. I've got in total 210 feet. They're 16 foot lengths and I used two inch by one and a half inch unplaned timber. This is about the best and cheapest timber that you can get for this job. And then also you're going to need plywood. I went for 12 millimeter, so a half inch thick, eight foot by four foot sheets, and I needed two of those. Now, so the first job I'm going to do is to make the base of the platform and then make the top of the platform. So you'll see I have two of them done here. So you've got eight foot long, two foot wide, so this is the side piece, and this comes to seven foot nine inches. The reason being is you've got these on the end, which are two foot long, and they are an inch and a half wide. So inch and a half at one end, inch and a half at the other end, which makes seven point nine in the centre, and that makes eight foot. Now, for anyone who's looking to keep the cost a little bit lower on this project and have to buy a little less timber. You can just stay with the bottom, the base, and then one support further up. However, because this is going to be in a commercial setting, and obviously it's going to get a lot of use, there's going to be a lot of heavy weights hitting, hitting down onto the top of it, I am going to go with an extra support, so an extra one of these guys in the centre. If you do just do the, the base and the upper support, it's going to be 100% anyway. I'm, I'm going a little bit overboard making sure that it is 110% solid. So next up we've got the uprights. So like I said, I've got a four bay Atlas on platform. So I'm starting at 48 inches, 52 inches, 56 inches, and then finishing off at 60 inches. Now depending on what you need, you might go to a three bay or even a two bay Atlas on platform. Totally up to yourself. Obviously you will just adjust your upright lengths to uh, fit that. However, one thing to keep in mind with this, when you're doing your heights, ensure that you take into account the platform you're going to be standing on. So if you're going to have rubber mats, if you're going to have plywood underneath where you're standing, take into account the height of that platform that you're going to be standing on and add that to your upright height. Because you don't want to do 48 inches high, but then you're standing two inches off the ground, and that makes your platform only 46 inches. So to start us off on this, I'm going to put the four corner uprights in first. So we've got the uprights that are going to be for the 48 inch height. We've got the two of them, front and back. And then we've got the taller ones down the end, which are going to be for the 60 inch height. So my base that I'm going to be standing on when I am loading stones is 55 millimetres. I know I'm switching between millimetres and inches here, but it's going to be 55 millimetres, so I'm adding that on to the height of the platform. So these aren't exactly 48 inches, they're a little bit more than that. And one other thing, obviously you've got a lot of screws here in this area to, to stabilise these uprights. So what I do is these two screws and these two are in the same line. So you'll see they're coming across in the same height. Then these two screws are going in in the center. So I want to avoid, when I'm putting in these screws, I want to avoid these guys over here that are going to be in the upright as well. So you don't want screws hitting off each other or just stopping them going in all together. So they're all of my upright 
to cut and ready to go in. Just a quick note that I am doing four uprights for each bay. Okay, so you've got two on the outside, you're gonna have two on the inside, and then straight beside those, there'll be another two for the next bay or the next level up. So I'm ready to put in this second structure. However, we have to figure out the height that we're gonna put that at. Now, for most of you out there, and definitely for myself, I'm going to be using underneath the platform, so this level down here, I'm going to be using that to store the apple stones. So we need to have this at a height that it's not going to get in the way of the apple stones. The biggest apple stones, pretty much, you're ever going to see is 24 inches. Now, you're going up 48 inches, you have loads of space here. I've decided on 28 inches up from the bottom, so from this point, up 28 inches and that's where I'm going to have this support structure. It's up to yourself. If you know you're only going to do smaller stones, you can go 20 inches. If you want a little bit more space underneath, go higher. Totally up to yourself on this one. Whatever level you decide to go to, just make a mark on each of your upright posts so that you're doubly sure that this is going in nice and level. Just same thing here, you want to make sure that your screws aren't going to cross. So these guys are right in the centre of the wood, these guys are top and bottom. So I'm just avoiding that crossover. And that's the second support structure in. So that second level that you see there will be the bottom of the panelling. So underneath all this area underneath is where the atlas stones will roll in. So the top structure is now in place. The next step is put in the rest of the uprights. So keep in mind when you're doing this, each bay or each platform is two foot wide. So I'm going to measure out two foot, put a line on my timber, and that line is going to represent the centre of the two uprights. So I know it sounds super simple, and you're going, why is he making such a big deal of this? Just make sure you don't want to have this smaller support or smaller upright halfway across, or a little bit too far, because it's going to throw off the rest of your platform. So make sure, two foot out, put a line across the timber, and then you know one upright is one side, the other upright is the other side of that line. Do the same measurement and the same mark on your support at the bottom, so your base. And then you definitely will get it right. Once you have that mark done, again you're just doing the same thing along for the rest. So you're going two foot, another two foot, mark it, two foot, mark it, and then you've got the end. So the next step we're going to is to put our supports in for where the atlas stones are going to rest. So you're going to have your platform up at the top, you're going to have support sitting underneath that. However, that's going to be the next step. For this step, we're focusing on the supports down at the bottom where the atlas stones are going to be sort of left stored. So for the supports at the bottom, they are going to be resting on the actual ground. So there's a lot of support already there. So if you want to cut down on timber again, you can just do two. I would advise putting them somewhere near the center. So you've got one here and possibly one here. So they will be just either side of where that atlas stone is actually going to rest. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one at the far end just inside these uprights, one just inside these uprights, and then one right here in the center. Again, a little bit of overkill, but it will make sure that it is perfectly solid. Just to make it a little bit easier to work with here, I have turned the frame on its side, and I've marked in the middle of each one where the center support is going to be. So I'm going to have a support here, just against the edge, over the other side, against that other upright, and then one right in the center. I've got it on its side, so it's just going to be a little bit easier to drill the screws in. So the supports along the bottom are done, we're moving to the supports along the top. Now the atlas stone is going to rest on a sheet of wood at the top here. We want those supports directly underneath, however, at the moment there's nothing to attach those supports to. So that's our first job. We're going to put a piece of timber across here at the same level as the surface that the atlas stone is going to rest on. And that way we can, if we get that to stay there, we can drill screws in here into the supporting wood. So we're going to put that piece of timber there, same on the other side, 
Then we're going to move on to this one, say right at the top, underneath that sheet of wood, that's where you're putting this, and that way those supports can go across directly under that sheet of wood. And there's another reason we're doing this as well. So you can imagine, if we didn't have this, your front board would come up and it would meet your top board. But the nut behind that corner piece, and that's where a lot of pressure from the atmosphere, that's nearly where the most pressure from the atmosphere actually goes. When someone lifts up, they don't just get it high enough and they hit off that corner. So if you didn't have this piece of wood here, you would have a weak point. And possibly that would start getting damaged over time. However, with this piece of wood here, the atlas stone is going to hit the timber sheet, but it's going to be supported behind by this piece of timber. So we've got the timber on the front and the back now, and our supports will fit in between those, which is the next step. Now before I do, just to show you where these supports are going in. First one goes up against the uprights on the right hand side here. Then we've got two in the center and I've left equal gaps in between all of them. And then we've got this guy here which goes up against the other uprights. Now it's important to have some sort of measurement. You don't want them too close in here in the center. You don't want them too wide so that possibly the center of the piece of wood that uh, the atlas stone will rest on might start sinking down. Now again, to make this a little bit easier, I am going to tip the frame onto its side so it's easier to drill in the screws. With the frame itself actually completed, we're moving on to paneling, putting on the timber on the top where the atlas stones are actually going to be loaded, and obviously where the atlas stones are going to be stored, we're going to have planks of timber on there as well. Now just before you go to that step, we're just going to make sure, go around the whole frame and make sure that all the timber is secured, ideally with two screws at each connection. Now we're going to leave panelling the front and the sides until the last step because if you panel that off now, it's going to make it a little bit more awkward. It's sort of going to get in the way of the rest of the work that you have to do. So for now we're going to focus on the plywood that's going on the top of the frame. Now this is where the atlas stone is actually going to be loaded up onto. I'm using 12mm plywood. I'd go with 12 or if you have thicker plywood lying about, use that. The measurements are very, very simple for this. Each of your bays, if you've done all this correctly, each of your bays are going to be two foot by two foot. So you're cutting the actual timber, is going to be quite simple here. However, that's not the only thing we have to do here. So when we're loading an atlas stone, if we load it onto just a flat surface, it's going to roll around. When you move on to the next atlas stone, it could roll off the platform, be an absolute mess. So like you'll see with a lot of platforms, we're going to cut a hole in the centre so that the atlas stone fits into that and won't roll off. Now to do this is super simple. If you've been following on my measurements, you've got two foot by two foot. Very easy to find that centre point. If you're doing your own measurements, whatever they are, measure widthwise, find the middle. Measure lengthwise, again, find the middle, and that's your centre point on your plywood. Next thing, you're going to get a 2.5 kg plate and place the centre point right in the centre of the two inch hole where the, the barbell would go. Now if you're a few mils off either way, it doesn't particularly matter as long as you're roughly in the centre here. So once you've got where you're happy with, you're just going to draw a line around the outside of the plate. And that's going to be the hole in the plywood. Now to cut that out, you're going to need your drill and you're going to drill a hole, drill enough space so that you can get your jigsaw in and then obviously you're just following the line around. Then you're going to do that four times, obviously for the four different platforms. So as you can see, that's the first one done. You are going to see these supports just in through the hole. That's fine. They're not going to get in the way of the actual atlas stones when they're being loaded. And then we're going to use these small little screws to secure this to the top of the frame. Now you don't need to go overboard with these screws. There's not going to be a huge amount of pressure trying to move this side to side. So the tops are all done, all the holes are cut, looking good. Next job is to cut out three of these guys. So we're just going to fill in the gaps in between the levels. So again, very simple. You're measuring it out. It should be two foot in length, but you're going to measure these gaps and see how tall the piece of wood needs to be. Now you might think all three are going to be the exact same. 
just double check because you might be a few millimeters out and you don't want it sticking up or anything like that. So just measure them out, each one of them. Down the bottom, we've got the sheets in that the Atlas stones are going to be stored on. However, one little change is that because I have a support going through the center, I have made the holes in the wood slightly smaller. So I've used a 1.25 plate to make those holes. It won't make a huge amount of difference. If you don't have a support in the center, you can continue using the 2.5 kg plate. If you have that uh, support in the center, you can still use 2.5 kg plate and make the hole a little bit bigger, but the atlas stone may come to rest on the actual support. It won't make any difference, it won't like, roll out of the platform, but it might be just a little bit more off balance. So we're nearly ready to put the frame into place. One more step I'm going to do before I actually put it into place is I'm going to put a sheet on the end. That's going to be a side closest to the wall, which I won't be able to get in at once I put it in place. So the platform is in place. This is where it's going to live. It's not going to be moving around. However, if you think that, oh, I'll put it there for the moment. I might be moving it around later on or next year or whatever it is. This next step is important. If you find that it's a little bit wobbly or wonky or anything like that, could be your floor is a little bit off balance, it could be something with the wall, there's a bit sticking out and it's pushing it off. You, I would advise possibly using uh, concrete screws going down into the ground and possibly into the wall. This will keep it nice and stable, but you can obviously take those screws back or out if you want to move it. If the platform is perfectly stable on its own, if it's not off balance, then you don't need to fix it to the wall or the floor at all. I would advise probably doing it anyway, maybe just one or two screws, just so there's no movement. But if it's fine, it's fine. However, if you know that the platform is going to be staying where it is, never going to be moved, you can use these guys. They're called frame fixings, but I'm sure they've got a lot of different names out there, someone will tell me. Um, but all you do is drill through the timber into the wall and then you're going to hammer these guys into place. Two of these at the back of the Atlas Stone platform, it will never ever move. The downside on this is that if you ever want to try and move this platform, these are going to be a nightmare to try and get out. So make sure that it's in its final position before you start putting these guys in. Next up, we're panelling the front and the side of the platform. So I'm using 12 millimeter thick, so it's about half an inch thick uh, plywood for this. You can do this a number of ways. I've done it the more complicated way. I've measured out each of the bays and gone up uh, the four inches or 10 millimeters roughly uh, each time and I've marked it out so that it's all going to be done in one piece. Now if you're doing it this way, keeping it all in one piece, it makes it look nice and clean. There's no breaks in the timber at the front. However, you do want to make sure that your measurements are exact and that, again, you have marked them out properly and exactly. The easier or simpler way to do this would be to cut out one section, put it on, then do the next section. The only difference is you will have uh, joinings or gaps in between. So the platform is done and ready for Atlas stones. However, there's one more little tip that I'd like to give you that will help protect your platform a little bit. When you're doing Atlas stones, you bring the stone up onto the chest as high as possible and what you'll see happen a lot of times is you'll step forward, the Atlas stone will hit the lip or the edge here and then you will roll it up onto the actual platform. However, that means that this lip just here at the front will get an awful lot of abuse and damage will happen. However, there's a very, very simple way to try and protect it as much as possible. So what you're looking for is a strong rubber material that you can still mould over the edge of the platform. So whether you have something lying around the house, you don't have to go buy and stuff for this. I'm sure you have something you'll be able to use. For instance, I'm using these old floor mats that have the thick rubber on the bottom, so it's nice and strong. And then obviously the mats on top, these are old, they're never going to be used again. And basically I'm going to mould this like this over the top of the platform and then nail it down and nail it to the front as well. And that's going to protect from the impact of the atlas stones. And we are done. So for anybody out there that is a little bit hesitant on taking on a project like this, 
you've seen, it's very, very simple. Anybody can actually do this. At worst, you have cut a piece of timber the wrong length or whatever else, you can always get more timber. It's not a big deal, you know, it's not the end of the world if one of your measurements is off or whatever else, but just follow the steps that have gone through there and like I say, it's a simple enough job. Make sure to check out the rest of my DIY videos. So I've got a lot of videos on creating equipment for strongman. Don't go out there and buy stuff straight away. Try and DIY as much as you can. Please, please like this video, subscribe. It's how I keep the channel going. And I'll see you in the next one.